This is a Breville BES 860, which is very similar to the um, here's the 870 XL. So the problem which I've had on this, which I'm trying to solve, is uh, there's not enough pressure. So if your coffee machine uh, spits out a very limited amount of water, or your pressure gauge doesn't move at all, or it moves only fractionally, you could have a range of problems. The most common of these is a problem probably with the solenoid valve or the pump. That's from my reading online. Now, I'll just take off the water tank here so you can see what the problem is on this unit, which might help you with your own units. Uh, let's see, I've just got the top on here. I'll just put that to the side briefly and pull the back off. Now, I have just temporarily taken the uh, tube here from the overpressure valve here which normally goes into the top of the boiler just there I've taken that out and the reason I took that out is because I want to test my pump so this is a simple way to test your pump you take this out and just put this into the back of the water tank uh, turn the machine on and run a single cup and you'll get plenty of water coming out of there and if you don't, that probably means that your problem is potentially with your pump, potentially with your overpressure valve, or in my case, which is quite difficult to find, it's this fellow. And this one generally exists between your tank and your flow meter. So my flow meter is just wiggling around there. It usually sits on those two points there, and I've taken it off. And this would have sat in there along with... And, uh, another little bit of tubing, oh there it is, there, so that sits in, and it only sits in one way, and the way it sits in has got these darker rings, and I think that's dirt or muck in around there, and that's why that became blocked, and that didn't seem to work. So I think that's either a valve or an inline filter, but I think it's an inline filter just so that your flow meter doesn't get blocked up. But that can be a reason you're not getting enough water or not getting enough pressure and that was quite hard to find and on this particular unit <laughs> I foolishly replaced the solenoid um, stem valve assembly and the pump before I discovered that so pretty expensive mistake but if you're diagnosing a BES 860 good luck with it